Hi, I'm Eric Schiller with Yeti Tool Southeast. Thank you for watching our channel. This is a sign that's the first product I cut after I received the smart bench. It's a 4x8 MDF sign that I had rattle can blue and then carved away the logo and website and phone numbers in it. Well, this is the finished product, the 4x8 sign, and this is the quality of the lettering. I was really pleased for this to be the first product that I cut and see what a good job Yeti UK had done with this machine went through it flawlessly. I had programmed it with Vectrix Aspire at 150 inches per minute, but ended up pulling up the percentages to 200% of the 150 on the controller, and it cut through it like butter. So it did a great job. So, so with that being said, I'm going to splice in the video that I cut in June, and uh, let's go feed the beast. I've already set the origin in the bottom right-hand corner in both the software and uh, on, on the MDF panel. So now I need to touch off the tool so I can have the software adjust for the tool, proper tool length. So we'll come around to the side of the spindle. Slide underneath. And I'm going to wrap it down just by using the uh, up and down buttons on the console. I'm going to get close. Now I'll touch the, Z, the Z0 button. and it's coming down very slowly holding the plate flush with the material and Z's coming down has probably about another quarter of an inch touches off and raises up so now the software is going to adjust for the tool length I'll go back to the origin point. Tell it to go to it. And there we are. So that's the X0, Y0, and the Z0 was just touched off with the automatic tool, tool touch off. The next step would be to load the job. I've already transferred the job using the Wi Fi built in connection, and I call this P25 full size sheet. So I'll select it, hit the check box because that's the one that is the one I want. It's loading, it's loaded. I'm not going to have it check it. I'm just going to go ahead and run it. And off we go. programmed at 150 inches per minute but I can move it up up to 200% right here on the controller by adjusting these values. We're just doing a, everything's going to be a pocket. Um, I'm going to cut through the blue into the MDF and we'll see the MDF as the uh, inside. I'm running this with the shop back. Uh, I don't have my main, main dust collection system moved over here yet, so the uh, dust collection is not that good. I don't, I haven't, I didn't drop this panel all the way down. I'm letting the weight of the panel hold it. If I dropped it down on the pinch rollers all the way down, uh, the shoe would be touching the uh, material. But I've got it up about a half inch. I'm going to pause it and we'll come back to it later. I think you'll see that on the dust collection it's picked up better. Um, it had skewed some out initially, but now it's, it's kicking along and I haven't changed anything. But as it's passing over multiple times to finish the pockets, it's going ahead and picking it up. This is not a problem with it at 150, so I'm going to bring it up. Another 50% in speed. I 
It's an eighth inch deep pocket, with a quarter inch two flute end mill. Back to it in just a minute. Well, this is knocking it out, um, running very efficiently. I don't hear the uh, spindle changing tones too much. Once it finishes this E, I'm going to bring it up another 50%, see how it does. Bring it up some. Okay, I'm at 200% of the 150. Still the same depth of cut. Everything's the same on this sign. This is a file being driven by uh, a spire. Electric software. Chip load is it's granular, but it's it's not great. And they slow down the uh, spindle in just a moment. So I can obviously program it quite a bit higher than what I could do with the previous machine. Uh, this is this is just doing great on the arcs and the, and the segments of the text that it's doing now. I've got it programmed 200% up from what I programmed at 150 inches per minute in this fire. It just ramped in which is slower, and now it's completing a letter. Ramping in, and doing a letter. It's a handwritten font. Back in a moment. Here it is handling a handwritten font of a phone number. All arcs and curves. Very smooth. Very rapid. This font has varying widths within each letter and, and number. So it's making you know, multiple adjustment passes. That's not a monoline font. Okay, coming back to it. It's clicking along just fine. There's a block letter. Okay, it finished. Um, that was 23 minutes or so.
So that was a quick sign. It's going to look good up on the wall. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call or email. You can go to yetismartbench.com and go to the contact page, fill that in, and I'll get back with you just as soon as I can. Thanks.